Anna. We have a short subject today about a woman named Anna from the pages of the Bible. As we will, we will look to two references in, today in Luke chapter 2. And in Luke chapter 2, verse 36. And there was one Anna, which means grace. Anna means grace. A prophetess. Now, it doesn't say she was a preacher. It didn't say she was a priest. She's a prophetess. And if you take your Bibles to Acts chapter 21 real quick. Acts 21. She's not preaching. Acts 21, and let me see, 21 verses 8 and 9. Twenty-one, eight, and nine. We have twenty-one, eight, and nine. Book of that, Book of Acts. And the next day, when we were in Paul's company, departed and came to Caesarea. We entered the house of Philip, the evangelist. So Philip is an evangelist, which was one of the seven evangelists. And abode with him. The same man, Philip, had four daughters, virgins, and not married, which did prophesy. Okay? And what they're doing is that they are relating to not tea leaves, not crystal balls. They're relating to the Holy Scriptures. Anna, the prophetess, is probably reminding Israel the Messiah is coming. The Messiah is coming. Don't give up. Don't quit. And the age we're going to see is she's probably a grandmotherly type that's reminding the people the scriptures. You know what the prophet Isaiah said? You know what Jeremiah said? The prophet is the daughter of Phanil, which which has two aspects, the face of God, interesting, the face of God, of the tribe of Asher, and that's Asher, that's spelled the Greek way, so she's not a priest. She's not a Levite. She was of great age and had lived with a husband seven years from her virginity. So she was a virgin. She got married. She had a seven year long marriage. I would believe. And she was a widow of about four score and four years. Now that seven years of her virginity, that's interesting because God created the heavens and earth in seven days. Seven days is the, how many years are in the tribulation period. There are seven churches. There are seven candlesticks. There are seven vials. There are seven trumpets. The Bible is full of sevens. This woman, where she is, what she is, is of God. She's not by accident. She's not a creature from slime pits of a Big Bang. Her whole life is of God and by God. 
And reading on, she could have been prophesying and maybe begging for monies to survive. To watch what else. She's about 84 years old. Which departed not from the temple. So the temple in Jerusalem. She is there. She has not stopped. Being there. But served God with fastings and prayers night and day. So she's in that temple in Jerusalem serving God. About 84 years old, she's a widow. Her husband has died and she is offering prayers and she is fasting Night and day. And she's known. By the scriptures. And she coming in that instant. Gave thanks likewise unto the Lord. What? What? What has happened? Well what has happened is we got to read. What happened? Verse 22 of the same chapter. And when the days of her purification, according to the law of Moses, Leviticus 12, were accomplished, they brought him to Jerusalem and present him to the Lord. They brought the baby Jesus. It is the eighth day, probably the eighth day of the Feast of Tabernacles, not December 25th. What she is supposed to do at eight days, she's to offer that child. She is to have that child circumcised. Mary and Joseph kept the law. And they would not have kept the Lord if they served Tammuz. December 25th. As is written the law of the Lord, every male that opens the womb shall be called holy unto the Lord, Exodus 13. And thou shalt offer sacrifice to which is said in the law of the Lord, Leviticus 12, a pair of turtle doves and two young pigeons, which they were poor. That was a secondary offering. They were to bring a lamb. They couldn't afford a lamb. So she's not wearing blue and scarlet. Probably in rags. But the lamb. She held in her hands. Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow. And behold there was a man in Jerusalem. Same place. Whose name was Simeon. And the, the same man was just. Devout. Waiting for the consolation of Israel. And the Holy Ghost was upon him. Not in him. And it was revealed to him by the Holy Ghost that he should not see death before he has seen the Lord's Christ. I'll give you a clue. Jesus Christ. He came by the Spirit into the temple. Holy Spirit said unto him, Simeon, yes, go in that temple. And when the parents brought in the child Jesus, to do for him after the custom of the law. Then took he. Simeon. Took him Jesus up in his arms. And blessed God and said. Lord now let us thou thy servant depart in peace. Death according to thy word. For my eyes have seen thy salvation Jesus. Which thou hast prepared before the face of all the people. A light to lighten the Gentiles, that's me, and the glory of the people of Israel, that's God's people. And Joseph and his mother marveled at those things which were spoken of him. Go down to verse 
36. And there was one Anna, the prophetess, the daughter of Phanuel, the tribe of Asher. She was of great age and had lived with her husband seven years from her virginity. And there's another reading for that, seven years, and I don't understand, but I've heard it. She was a widow of about four score, four score, four times two, 20, 80 and four years, which departed not from the temple, but served God with fastings and prayers night and day. And she coming in the instant gave thanks likewise unto the Lord. Seeing what Simeon has done, and spank of him to all that looked upon, looked for the redemption of Jerusalem. So there's everybody there, and Simeon is thanking God, holding this baby. Anna walks in, and she, hey, I told you. Hey, there he is. Hey, the Messiah. Hey. Here's the one that's going to redeem us. So when they say we don't know who this who this man is, we have no idea who this man is. Simeon broadcasted him. Anna broadcasted him. The shepherds broadcasted him. The 12 disciples later broadcasted him. John the Baptist broadcasted him. And Jesus Christ himself broadcasted of his own self. They cannot use the, the, that's my cat. They cannot use the excuse we didn't know. So, look for the redemption in Jerusalem. And that's it. 36 to 38 is all we read about Hannah. I'm, excuse me, Anna. She's a prophetess. She proclaimed the coming of the Messiah. The Messiah came in the temple. He's eight days old. He's circumcised. He's picked up by Simeon. She's broadcast by Anna to all the people. Now, they're going to have to wait 30 years until this child Look at verse 40. And the child grew and waxed strong in spirit, filled with this wisdom, and the grace of God was upon him. So here he is. But it's not the time. Isn't God great for patience? Isn't God great? Here's what's going to happen, prophesied Anna. But you have to wait. And is there day and night, fasting, prayers. I would imagine people would come up to Anna and ask her to pray for them. Hey, you want a prayer warrior? Go to the Jerusalem, go to the temple. There's Anna. She's a basher. She's old. Ask her to pray for you. Friend, let me ask you something. I don't know how old you are. She's 84. I'm 55 years old. I got a lot of health ailments. I don't know how far I'm going to go. I'll be lucky if I, if I reach 70. But I don't know how old you are. Are you still going for the Lord day and night? Are you still prayer and fasting day and night? Are there people in your church? Are there people in your neighborhood? Are there people at your job? They'll come up to you and say, my son has been called to duty and overseas. Will you pray for him? My wife just found out she's got bad news from the doctor. Can you pray for us? Do they know you?
Do they know you that you know God and God knows you? Can you guide them to the Messiah? If you were, if you were, if they were to come up to you and say, "Listen, what must I do to be saved?" Well, let me call my pastor. That's not the answer that Paul and Silas gave. Come on, man! I want to get saved. I want to do it now. You, you must repent of your sins, and you must be baptized, and you, you got to turn to new. That's not the answer that Paul gave. The question, Christian, is do you like Anna? I don't keep wanting to say Anna, excuse me. Do you like Anna? Do you know how to bring people to God for her Jehovah? Do you know how to pray for the people? And then guess what? Her revelation. Her prophecy to the people of Israel happened before she showed up. Because Jesus is there. Jesus is in, the, is in the arms of Simeon. And Anna comes in and sees and then says, Lord, and she blesses the moment. You know, I've heard of stories many times. Christians who have prayed for a lost individual. And that Christian has died and gone home to heaven. And then that person they prayed for got saved. When that Christian died. And they got the information in heaven. There's not much mentioned about Anna in the Bible. See, too many Christians, too many preachers, too many pastors, they want an all big thing about them. They want a whole book written about them. And Anna had what, six verses? Anna got to see something I have not seen yet. She got to see Jesus. All right, an eight-day-year-old Jesus, that, that's better than no, not seeing Jesus at all. There are people, many, many, many people are going to see an angry Jesus that's going to judge them and cast them into hell. That's not Anna. Anna backed up Simeon. Simeon says, here he is. This is the one you promised. Thank you, Lord. Now let me die. Glory to God for Israel. Anna comes in. Thank you, God. Glory to God. He's here of Israel. There he is. She backed up Simeon. Glory to God. 